today's video, we're going to be comparing the Sharpei and the Bull Mastiff. Both of these amazing breeds are renowned for their hunting and guarding prowess. Let's see how they compare head to head. Welcome back to the Fenrir Sharpei Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Sharpei, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Sharpei. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Sharpei, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Sharpei video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a deeper look at the main differences between these two breeds. Let's dig right into each breed's history to get a better look at how cherished our modern canines were developed. The Sharpei originated in China and used to be considered one of the world's rarest dog breeds. They were originally bred for herding, guarding and hunting but were also popular as fighting dogs. This breed is so old it dates back to the Han Dynasty. Their iconic wrinkles protected them from opponents while they were used as fighting dogs and their hooked canines meant they could grab and hold much more easily. Though as China's borders became more open and other breeds such as the Bulldog and Mastiff were introduced, their use as fighting dogs declined and they became family dogs. Though taxes imposed on dog owners and other factors almost saw the breed to extinction. Thanks to American breeders, the Sharpei was brought back and they've been a family dog ever since. The Bull Mastiff is also prized for their hunting and guarding abilities, but have their roots in Europe and England. They came about by crossing Mastiff type dogs with Bulldogs, specifically the Old English Bulldog. This is because gamekeepers wanted a strong and robust dog for guarding livestock, but also a dog that was able to scare off poachers when necessary. The breed is also thought to be the foundation for other such breeds like the Bloodhound, St. Bernard, the Great Dane and even the Bull Mastiff itself wasn't recognised as a breed until 1925. Today these dogs are known for their police and military work but also known as wonderful family companions. Moving along to appearance, you'll notice these dogs share some very basic things in common. They're both strong, deep chested dogs with a short coat. The Sharpei stands between 46 to 56 centimetres tall and weighs between 18 to 29 kilograms. Whilst the larger bull mastiff stands between 61 to 69 centimetres tall and weighs between 41 to 59 kilograms. These canines share a similar coat type, which means their grooming needs are also similar. They both have a very short coat. The Sharpei has little to no undercoat, which means brushing is hardly necessary, other than to distribute oils and keep their skin healthy. A bull mastiff will only need a weekly brush down with a grooming mitt to keep shedding at bay and their coat looking well. Both dogs sport folds that will need to be kept clean and dry to avoid yeast infections, though the Sharpei is certainly more prone as they have more folds and both dogs will do well to have their ears clean regularly to starve off infections there as well. This moves us on to trainability for each breed. The Sharpei is an intelligent but independent breed despite their sweet nature. A firm but gentle and consistent hand when training is extremely important to the Sharpei. If the person training them is too soft, the independent nature of the Sharpei will really show through. However, this breed doesn't do well with harsh corrections as they're sensitive. Due to this, they aren't recommended for first-time owners. Even with the proper person and training, this breed isn't known for them to be the most obedient or responsive. The Bull Mastiff is quite similar in nature. They're intelligent, but an independent breed that needs the right kind of leader to show them the way. They need to be trained with a firm but gentle hand to turn them into well-rounded adults, but it's no easy task. As puppies, this breed is very energetic and can be extremely independent, which makes it difficult to have them focus during training. Training will need to start as early as possible to set boundaries as these cute puppies will quickly grow into large and powerful breeds. It's also important to note that they're natural guard dogs and as such should never be trained to guard or they can become aggressive. Much like the Sharpei, they aren't recommended for first time owners due to these factors. Both are wonderful dogs that love to be with their people and are devoted to their families. Sharpays are known to do well with children of all ages as long as socialisation has started early enough. They become devoted to even the youngest members of the family that way. Though playtime should always be supervised just in case someone gets knocked over. Accidents do happen after all. This breed also does well with cats they grew up with, but may not think anything of chasing a strange cat, which is an important consideration. 
as is the fact that they can be rather aloof or wary with strange dogs. So socialization from an early age is a must. Bull Mastiffs, on the other hand, aren't recommended for families with young children. They may become too excited or boisterous during playtime and knock over someone, leading to accidental injury. And due to their protective nature, having friends over could cause problems if a dog mistakes playtime for something less friendly. It's extremely important for kids to learn how to behave properly with these dogs as they aren't very tolerant of children. Though they are generally good around other animals as long as they have been properly socialised. Though they are generally good around other animals as long as they've been properly socialised. As with introducing new people, it's important to be careful when introducing new animals. Even the most well socialised animal can be made uncomfortable and become frightened. In either case, a family looking for a dedicated companion will find it in one of these dogs. The Sharpe is lower in energy and requires less exercise. They also do better with children than bull mastiffs. As such, they may be a better pick for those seeking a family companion and not much else. The bull mastiff requires more exercise and isn't suitable for families with small children, but they can make a great companion for those looking for a dog that can also protect their family as long as the children are a little bit older or they understand how to behave pop properly around the dog. They are a guard dog after all. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Sharpay videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Sharpay Show.